capture the White Mamba, the Child Soldier's commander, and bring him back to Mother Base. First off, head for Bwala Yamasa. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. Destination. Rain approaching. Help! Help!
Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. All you need to do is carry him to the LZ. The map has been mission info. Support helicopter requested. This is B Quad. Arriving shortly at LZ. This is B Quad. Have arrived at LZ. We'll stand by. Support helicopter has arrived. <laughs> Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Soldier, you got that. Anyone here can use a knife or a gun. What you're gonna learn is how to use your head. Let's move. Get that under your belt, then you're free to leave. Thank you. 
received some new job offers. The details are on your iDroid. A sniper known as Quiet is lurking in the Afghan wilderness. This Quiet has performed a string of hits on Soviet officers. The attacks always occur in the same area. But sweeps of the area turn up no traces whatsoever. The White Mamba. Nyokayam Pembe. He's the commander of the kids based out of Wale Yamasa. As you know, contract forces of Africa were stationed at that village. Anti-government forces hired ZRS to bring kids there from around Africa for training. But at some point, the adults with the PF started dropping like flies. This was right after we arrived in Africa. We don't know the cause. The kids ended up on their own. Must have been like fish out of water. Nothing to eat, no way to get back home. All the adults taught them was how to use a gun. Sure, they could shoot targets, but hunt for food? Not likely. They wouldn't have lasted long. Then the White Mamba showed up. He was faster and stronger than them, a better soldier, and he knew how to lead. I guess somebody wished upon a star, because their savior turned up like stardust straight out of the blue. The moment he arrived, the kids had their new commander. That was when they started attacking other villages. Word of the infamous White Mamba spread fast. But it isn't just his combat skills that got people talking. As you can tell from the name, he's the only light-skinned kid in the unit. Not to mention the blonde hair and the blue eyes. Not common in those parts. We have no idea where he came from or what he's experienced. The kid's a huge blank. But I'm sure you'll know him when you see him. Duval, One other thing. Complete. He's still a kid, so don't kill him. Be careful not to hit him with anything lethal. Not even a flesh wound. Our mission objective isn't just suppressing a bunch of militants. This is a DDR operation of the kids in that unit. DDR stands for Disarmament, Demobilization, and Reintegration. Disarmament is obvious. We take their weapons off their hands. The demobilization part means dismantling their military organization to ensure they can't arm themselves again. To do that, you need to capture the unit's commander and have him order his men to disband. In this case, the commander is the White Mamba. There's nobody above him, so he's all we need to grab. Finally, reintegration. Through education and occupational training, we give them a means to live besides war. A lot of kids born in a war zone don't know any other way to live. So before they find themselves back there, we teach them another skill. I'd like to establish this rehabilitation process at Mother Base. That's why we're bringing those kids back here. It's not so much for their sake. It's for the world that we're trying to create. No other way about it. Those kids are amateurs. Bad for business to have them running around where we're trying to work. Bring them all back if possible, or as many as you can. We placed the White Mamba and the rest of his unit in the staff living quarters. How's that going? It's a disaster, but what else can we do? We've taken away his weapons and banned him from using his nom de guerre. Apparently his real name is Eli. He must feel like we stripped him of his whole identity. We'll let things simmer down. I put a guard on him for now. Still the question is, who is he? Where did he come from, and how has he survived? He's still not talking. No. He won't say a word about himself. But you know, it looks like he speaks English. One of the deck crew called out to him in English, and he said something back. He just lost it all of a sudden, started mouthing off at the guy, in perfect English. He wasn't stringing together words he picked up somewhere. So English is his mother tongue? He could be from the East, or the South, or maybe even further North or South. English is well established in countries all across the continent. It's rooted in Africa like a weed. Or maybe parasite is the better word. So just speaking English doesn't help us figure out where he comes from. Could even be from off-continent. Right. In any case, we'll keep an eye on him. If we learn anything else, I'll be sure to let you know. Please select a landing zone. Roger. Arriving shortly at LZ. 